All right, we are back for round two. Something I was thinking about is that maybe I should be main decking uh, Shrine of Loyal Legion. It's actually a pretty good win condition against this one of deck. And maybe the card belongs in the main deck. It's definitely not bad. Could be an option. I, I did not put it in the deck, but it could be. Another winning white deck? Okay, now. Um, it's kind of interesting. Let's see what they do. We have one mountain in the deck. Ooh, Mardu. Against Mardu, I actually really want to be able to eat the charm their planeswalker. So I think I'll just grab the mountain here. We are way more way more likely to draw white later than. Not gonna play anything here. Next turn I can chalice plus sensor. Yeah, later in the game we are more likely to draw white than than uh, red, so I think I'd rather get my one red right now. I imagine this is a controly planeswalker base deck of some sort. Black is not bad. Uh, yeah. Now we just need white, and we're 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 good to go. Hopefully they try to cast a 4 mana Planeswalker here and we can Sensor, that'd be pretty great. This thing kills Planeswalker, right? Yeah, Creature or Planeswalker, you're gonna fit. It's kinda funny because with Dummy now you had to change the template and, template and now you, with Burn Spell, you hit, you know, either Creature, Planeswalker, both, maybe Player, but it's it's not like now where you, you, know, you target the player, redirect to Planeswalker. And Sorin is kinda funny because you cannot hit Player. So it it's a little bit like what's coming up soon, in a way. I don't believe they are playing blue. They could be. I think it's more likely they're just on some... Uh, again, Mardu deck, and they played the team yet because it's a little bit on color and it's acceleration. I think they will never cast a Planeswalker spell until we're tapped out, probably. I don't know. Not sure what their plan is. Compulsive research. That's a very big problem. Not much we can do, though. Plays around both it's a Charm and Sensor, and there's like nothing we can uh, do. I guess they are playing blue. This could be a tough one. Is them drawing that match here. And us still out of white and drawing our second double white spell. How many white sources is there in the deck? Left. I guess we use Evolving Wild, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten white sources left in the deck. Yeah, that's more than a third. Hope we'll get there. The thing is, it's a charm and sensor are are getting kind of bad. And if they start casting 5 mana Planeswalker, what are we doing? We can use both spell to counter 1, but that's about it. We're certainly not beating 4 mana Planeswalkers. Looking green. Maybe it's time to sink, sink, cycle that sensor. I don't like how this game is going. I was I was feeling a little more confident when I when I thought they were straight up Mardu and they didn't cast research. Frex and Metamorph. Yes, sure. That could be a big threat. It's extra mana. I mean, I guess now we're definitely cycling the sensor and possibly even looting with charm. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, I hope this fine lands and a couple cheap spells so we don't have to discard too much. Would be pretty clunky. Maybe they have a counter spell here, actually. Yeah, they're, they are definitely playing blue. No? Okay. Maybe I should be a little bit worried about that. Them just countering the tidings. What do I do now? What do I discard is the question. Probably just Sacred Foundry. I think we want to keep all the action in hand. 
We're tapped out now, they get to resolve stuff, but we have a lot of answers. Though currently nothing that really answered Planeswalker well. There's a Saurian, obviously, but there's a good chance it gets dealt with, in a way. Though if they tap all their blue mana, they will not have access to count spells. So if anything, Saurian can deal with a Planeswalker. I mean... If they had count spell, I'm pretty sure they would have countered uh, tidings. Would be kind of insane not to do that. Wildfire. Okay, that's what they were doing this whole time. That's why they copied. I should have seen that coming. We're not too bad against wildfire. Wildfire, I think. So we can ditch the white and the red. Oh, I need to stack the. Okay, it's not the one I keep. Because some card, yeah, some card that are worded like sacrifice, like balance. You you choose the the lands you want to keep. So I want to sack that. I want to sack that, and I guess two islands, and then we still have every single color. Maybe I should have kept double white so I could cast El Elspeth Knight Errant and apply some pressure. Yeah, maybe. It's kind of cool that Wildfire is not great against our deck. Do they have a Sensor now? <laughs> they hold the Sensor to use post-Wildfire. All right, fair enough. Okay, they have more mana than we do, but we have more cards. So there is that. Kind of need to draw another land here. I wish we hadn't discarded Sacred Foundry, but just maybe I should have discarded Departure. Let's eat the charm towards land. Doesn't look like the dirt deck has a lot of creatures, so probably we can get rid of Oust and Silent. Expense nice. Uh, sure, I'm not gonna cycle this cast out. What are we grabbing with that? I think we want a second white. Definitely don't need second blue. Do we even have a double blue spell left in deck? There's only tidings. Oh, I guess dissolve too. That's probably not uh consideration though. I wonder if they are holding count spell here. I think we'll start jamming stuff. I mean, I'm not going to lead with Soarin because it's kind of, kind of our most important threat. They could be playing spell pier, so I guess I'll drop that. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna jam elf best, see what they want to do about that. Nothing. Nothing yet at least. They don't have any white anymore, so they can't choose uh oblivion rings. Maybe we should be worried about not milling them. Well actually you know what happened? I think I understand what happened here. I think my opponent, like me, f mistaken with Wildfire and thought they were selecting the land to keep. And this is why their mana is so clunky right now. And they don't have white anymore and no double black. That's probably that. When I said, when I almost, you know, tried to select the land I wanted to keep, I think they just did that. Oh no, the other way around. No, they, they, they selected the land I wanted to keep and sacked these. And now they're off of white and double black, and this is why they're in so much trouble. That is my guess, at least, as to why, you know, they can't cast anything here despite having, or they don't seem to be able to cast anything despite having this much mana. They have six here, so I'm just gonna drop Sorin. Yeah, I think this is what happened. This is why I checked the chat to see if they uh, if they said something like, uh, oh, I messed up with my land or something, or I thought it was the other way, way around, like I did. I think this is what happened. But maybe, maybe you're watching this video now if you follow me on YouTube. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully you are. And let me know if I was right and you also thought 
it would work the other way around with the lands. Or maybe it's just something else. It feels like it, it might be the case though. We want disenchant here. And uh, imprisoning the moon on our own stuff so we don't get uh, wildfired. <laughs> I imagine they are jamming a couple planeswalker planeswalkers are in there, but not as we can do. I do like guys here. Obstruction is I think it's fine. We can cut some of the creature reinvolve for sure. I like keeping out, I think it's better to condemn. Silent departure maybe sucks. Shrine is kinda cool. Against other control deck. I think we'll, we'll sideboard like we would do as our against other control deck. And maybe it should. I mean, this this version of deck is more reactive. It's better against creature. But if we're playing against a slower deck without creature, without many creature, we'd rather have that, right? Could also bring in Imprison in the Moon. I don't, I don't feel like we need more answers, though. And I, I believe our deck has enough ar artifact acceleration where uh, it's actually fairly happy to play against uh, a deck that tries to do to uh, wildfire. This is going to grab a blue. The question is, we could search. We could search turn two. It depends on what we draw, I guess. But if we search turn two, we can maybe try to scry towards a land. And then play both stones in the same turn. Since we drew a land, could also signet now. I kind of like that, actually. I think it's not a big deal if we uh, cast the search pretty late in the game, actually, here. This gives us turn two. This gives us. Turn four, sorry, maybe. That could be really good. Also, if we know they are trying to wildfire, deploying as much uh, non land mana as we can early on seems like a good idea. But right now, if they wildfire, we're still in quite a bit of trouble, to be fair. Oh, we don't have black for Sorin. Uh, we could play Shrine here. I think we want to go Mindstone. Probably we're gonna Tidings next turn, and then we kind of want to have as much mana as possible to play whatever we got off the Tiding. And Tidings before they get to um, play the Wildfire they might have is kind of good, though. Currently, Wildfire hurts them more than it hurt uh, hurts us, but I. Don't feel like they're playing count spell. They they might be, but I think I'll jam that tiding, tidings. Okay, very good, very good. More lands would have been appreciated. More white and black would have been appreciated, but oh well. We'll search and uh, try to dig towards uh, lands of the color we need. Next time we can play staff, which is kind of cool. Compulsive research is fine here. I'm not worried about the card advantage this game. I think we'll be. We we'll already cast the tidings. We have a search, a staff probably going on. I think mana is going to be fine. Oh, they discarded the wildfire. Yeah, it was not looking too good for them. So we know this is out of the table. They could have a destructive force. Water grave. Yeah, I'll keep some black, sure. So put in the graveyard now. I, guess, I feel like it's always a bit tricky to play with search online. I always want to say yes when there's something I like. I think we have enough mana to go Soaring plus Dissolve backup, which is pretty sick. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Red. Oh, they do have a Celestial Colonnade, though. They can pressure Sorin this way. It's not gonna die right away, though. And if they spend their entire turn doing that, I think we're actually fine. I guess Sorin might eventually die, though. 
But if they, if they need to spend two entire turns tapping out to attack with colonnades, I think that's kind of good for us. And there's a good chance they try to deal with it in another way, like an Oblivion Ring. Or Planeswalker of their own. This is getting countered, looks like a Karn. <laughs> Nicole Bolas got Faro, yeah, no. How about no? <laughs> yeah, definitely on top. Put in the graveyard, no. Cast out is nice protection against, well, Planeswalker, for example. Let's drop this shrine, maybe. Can we drop, I guess we could go, let me just count four. Actually, I count like Elf Pass plus Staff of Nin. Yeah. And Giants, yeah. The engine is set up here. We have so much mana, so much card advantage. I think there is going to be very, very difficult for them to come back. All right, sweet. Uh, that was round two. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you for the final round. Maybe we get a trophy.